Hello Aries and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin and today Aries we're going to do a past present future reading about you. We're going to find out what's going on, what messages you need to receive, what recently happened, what's how you're feeling about it and how it's going to play out. So let's talk about you. Yang. Ooh, card number one. Okay. Let's talk about the masculine aspect, the masculine energy. Um, you are Aries so you are the emperor so you're very alpha. Um, male or female you'll have those leadership qualities within you. Um, that is the Aries trait. <laughs> Let's see if they're telling you, maybe you might be, this is the representative that you're too far in the masculine, or you might be not strong enough in the masculine. So let's find out what they want to say here as we go through this reading. What are the messages here for Aries? So we start with the strength in reverse, so a little bit of anxiety, okay? Six of Pentacles in reverse. And a Wands in reverse. Everything's upside down, Aries. Okay. Oh, I got to move those up or we're not going to get all the cards on the screen here. All right. What else we got? And Aries, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So the Eight of Swords in reverse. The star. Okay. Whoa. The overall vibe, theme, and energy. What's anchoring this is the sun in reverse. Okay. Knight of Swords in reverse. And the Empress. So the future's looking bright. <laughs> um... The Six of Cups in reverse right now. At this moment, Aries, um, especially with the sun in reverse here, you do feel like you're feeling um, you're feeling very disappointed, very frustrated. I feel like you are, this message here is to be more in touch with the masculine. You might be too in touch with your feminine at this point with the sun in reverse. That is the divine masculine and he's upside down. That's also like I know a lot say a Leo, but I consider the sun Leo and Aries because I've always considered Aries as the leader of the Zodiac. You guys are the leaders, um, the pioneers, right? Nobody tells an Aries what to do. <laughs> I have my, my son's got a stellium in Aries. I got a little powerful Aries living with me. Um, so let's get into this. Strength in reverse with the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in reverse. What is this strength in reverse? What's this recent past here for Aries? Four of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Six of Cups upright. Knight of Swords in reverse and Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Could be dealing with the Leo. Um... This is disappointment on the home front. So the six, the four of wands is about your home, your harmony, your um, home life. I mean, you could be moving. Um, you could be leaving your childhood home. Maybe, you know, you're moving out from your parents or uh, some of you. Interesting. Then again, this message, your parents could be moving in with you. <laughs> you know, the circle of life, right? But with the knight of swords in reverse, um, something was blocked here. A gift was blocked is what I feel. And it's caused disharmony. So something was supposed to be given to you, Aries, and it wasn't. Um... And it has something to do with your home life. Could could even be like a family inheritance or a gift from a family member or something. But it's created a lot of disappointment. Um, it's asking you to take patience. What's on the six? There's the Ten of Cups. So fulfillment's there. It's just a little bit of disappointment and delay in getting what you want or what is rightfully yours. Something was taken from you. There's the Six of Swords and there's the Three of Pentacles. Somebody, something was taken from you. Um, what do you want to say about the Six of Pentacles in reverse? This is... Maybe you need to be, you need to stand up for yourself more to get the Six of Swords. Oh, the Ten of Cups. They, um, I don't know if you're going to get it back. They're telling you to move on and move forward without it. Get, take control here. So something was, I mean, someone might have stolen something. I, for some reason, I'm getting an inheritance, but I feel like that's very specific. It's not like every Aries, is, but there's something that should have been given to you, whether it was from an employer, a friend, a family member, uh legal team i'm not sure you were supposed to get something and you didn't get it um and obviously that pissed you off a little bit naturally um but it's made you more of like an anxiety anxious and disappointment as opposed to angry is the feeling that i'm getting but for me to say that some of you are pissed um but they want you to move Ooh, they want you to heal they want you to they want you to heal from this the stars come out twice here and for some reason that's got it the world <laughs> huh they want you to close that out Sometimes um, things just don't work out or sometimes things get lost. But what's yours will never actually truly be lost and will be returned in other ways, right? That's what I'm hearing here. Ah, sorry about that. The Page of Cups. They really do. Okay, now I want to look at all these. The Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. You didn't see this coming. I mean, this could have been a financial... Some Something was lost or taken from you. You didn't see it coming. It was a very unexpected loss here. Um, and it's got you feeling quite out of sorts. Um, or it had in the past. Um feel like that's why the yang is here it's asking you to to jump into that masculine energy to take control um and and um it's just asking you to jump more into that masculine energy a feminine um 
to be more strong in the masculine. What do you want to say here about the sun in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse? I feel like right now, you're just feeling really disappointed here, Aries. Wow. Knight of Cups in reverse. So the Emperor, there's, there you are. The Emperor in reverse. <laughs> Both your cards are upside down. The Five of Swords, Justice, and the Queen of Swords. For some of you, it is a legal situation where you're, you know, somebody took something from you and it's like, it's a legal thing. Uh, but that's, again, not going to be for everybody. But if the, for those of you, that is, justice is upright. So that is a success. That's you winning in court. Um, no matter how stressful it's been, I feel like you are, this is you right now, Aries. You're really out of sorts here, whoever this reading is for. Unfortunately, it is out of your control. And that's the, the part that, um, that's the hard part that you're going to have to accept. It is out of your control. Whatever was stolen or taken from you, as emotional as it makes you, as upset as it makes you, they want you to remove your emotions from the situation and just be really logical. This is both swords here. All three of these are swords with you upright. Or sorry, with you upside down. So I feel like that's a message, again, to get more into the masculine, into the mind, as opposed to the heart. Take your emotions out of the loss, um, which is real easy for me to say, but that's what they're, the advice they want to give to you in order to move forward and heal and to move into a better place and get what's rightfully yours. Because like I said, you can't lose anything. Whatever was taken from you will be returned. Maybe that will be in court or in a different manner, but the universe always returns what was rightfully yours. Um... You just have to know that. So they really want you to become more logical, more strategic, um, and more thoughts as opposed to your emotions. Get more head, it's like get more of the masculine, more headstrong um, than heart here because this was an emotional loss for you. It was something that, yeah, it was. Um, it was with the eight of swords in reverse, they want you to um, stop, stop thinking about it. I know it's really easy for me to say. What else do you want to say about the eight of swords in reverse? Thinking about it is just going to keep replaying that emotion, right? It's just going to, your brain, make the choice, yeah, oh, to stop. You got to put it behind you, I know. I know, I know it's hard, Aries, but um, the thing about the Seven of Cups, too, is, like, rub the lamp. This is the the genie. This is a card of Aladdin, right? When you rub, but there's all these different lamps. Some of them are empty. Some of, You don't know what you're going to get, um, but they want you to make your wish um, for, and dream about the future because there's the Empress here. So, like, your feminine... The masculine is upside down and the feminine's up. So I really feel like there's a strong message here to get more into the, the masculine, which again is more of the, the logic as opposed to your feelings um, and stop and stop overthinking about the past here. It's time. I know it's easy for me to say, Aries, it's time to move forward um, and heal from that. And you have, and you are. The star here, the knight of swords in reverse. I feel like that's you blocking it. Let's just see. What do you want to say about the knight of swords? And the tower, or the thing about the star is... Um, you only, you only have the star after you have the tower moment, right? So you've been through some stuff and you're really healing for it. But see that big star? That's your true north. That's Sorry, I just hit the camera. I don't know how many times I've done that. That's your true north. That's your authentic self. So sometimes we have to go through those losses, those obstacles, those challenges um, in order to really know who we are in order to grow as a person. Um, and I feel like that's what the universe has done here, whatever that loss was. But again, here's the Queen of Wands. So know who you are. Because you are coming up as the Emperor, the Empress, the Queen of Wands. You're very balanced. But this has thrown you off kilter here, Aries. This loss, it's been a very emotional. Um, but don't forget who you are. So here's the feminine aspect again. So, I mean, I know I said be headstrong, but don't forget that feminine part too. I thought that was, I thought that was a hair. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I'm being drawn to those leaves. I don't know why. Um, but... Um, move forward. That's all I can say. They want you to move forward. Better things wait for you. What's lost will be found. What's yours will be returned. There's the queen or there's the, the queen. There's the fool. New beginnings are here for you. Um, and they really need you to, um, release the past with the queen of pen. Release that overthinking about the past. Release those. It's like a mental, um, prison, the eight of swords, right? You're placing limitations on yourself. You're reliving these negative moments. You're going through those fears, those anxieties. So, ah, you have a fear of it happening again, but it won't because you learned from it. The star is here. That's your healing. That's taking the time to learn your lessons from it. That's taking the time to understand what makes you happy because that disappointment is going to turn into satisfaction. It always does. The way the universe works is they always pull, put shit in front of you before they give you everything you want. I don't know why. You got to earn it. Okay, but this is an ego trip. This is very difficult to accept this loss, but sometimes we just have to accept what is we cannot change. 
we cannot change it. It's out of our control. I feel like that's a big lesson that you're learning right now here, Aries. So what does Aries need to surrender to when it comes to the situation? What does Aries need to surrender to? Surrender to the idea that you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try and fix someone else. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. And right now, this is about you and you have to heal yourself. But if it was someone that stole from you or took your inheritance or whatever that was, the universe will take care of them too. Don't worry about that. What is the lesson here? Oh, hold on. I like flew over here. Abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. Just remember, but but if you're constantly focusing on that loss, that's what you're going to keep manifesting. That's why they want you to, to, to get out of those thoughts and to push those the past behind you to propel yourself to a better future. Allow the universe to return what was taken. Um, and the energy oracle message. What do you want to say? What do you want to say to Aries? You got a few things here. The temple path. Ooh. Okay, what else we have? Yeah, that was the temple path, but this one came out first. Anxiety, there's that anxiety again. There's the first shocker, and there's blossoming abundance. So, huh, this is, um, I know it's, uh, this is your journey. You're on the right path here. This was something that was meant to happen. Um, it was a lesson that was meant to learn. Um, sometimes we have to remember this. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're depressed, you're living in the past. So remember to live in the present because it's a gift. Those are Lao Tse's teachings, right? Um, this is all about stability. This is all about creating your stability, but going through that is going to create that, whether you, you want to believe me or not. Um, and I'm being, we have a lot of threes here with three, we have three, we have nine, nine is breaks down to three. Um, if you go three times three is nine, <laughs> but, um, three, six, nine, right? So there's a lot of magic. There's a lot of things happening behind the scenes. There's protections from the angels watching you look at all this gold look at all this gold projecting from these right that's the spirit realm watching you those are your teams guiding you they got you're on the pipe you're on the path here and just keep going because putting that behind you like i said what was lost will always be returned what was yours will be given back to you um and so whatever was taken will be returned and it's coming but you have to put that behind you and heal and see the lesson in what happened because like i said i feel like it has to do with control areas we can't control others we can only control how we react to it and what we what we do so let's get your potential outcome areas let's find out where you are in a month so i say potential because there's always free will and then i say outcome because you know where are you in a month how are you doing are you in the empress mode still manifesting have you mastered this have you started this new beginning is it starting if you're starting to see the fruits of the labor what's going on here The Ace of Pentacles in reverse has to come out with the Moon in reverse. So the King of Pentacles, the, the Six of Wands, the Two... Uh, there's still a... Okay. I'll tell you this. Your stability is here. So your masculine energy... It's funny. <laughs> You're going to hate me. <laughs> um, you. I did this. I've done this in my life too. You went too far into the masculine. I'm just going to say it. I don't know how else to say it because... If we look here, the overall energy is the masculine. You were too far in the feminine. You weren't strong enough in the masculine. And I feel like now you went a little bit too forward. It's created your stability. You've taken fucking control. You got back what was yours. Absolutely. You've had your victory. But now it's time to get back to that sensitive part to create this balance and this harmony within yourself. So it's like when someone treats you like shit and they walk all over you because you're being too on the feminine energy, sometimes we get a little bit too rigid and we get a little bit too well, which is too rigid and too strict. So it's about creating that balance. So you went from, you know, the masculine imbalanced to the feminine because the moon is the card of the divine feminine and now it's in reverse with the two of cups in reverse. And these are the aspects of ourselves. This is the feminine and the masculine aspect and balancing and creating harmony. So you've got your stability. You got what was taken. Whatever was taken from you was returned. You got it back. Um, you've had success there and now it's just about balancing and creating that harmony again. And if it had something to do with your home, then yeah, it was returned. If it was an inheritance or whatever, if it was something stolen, it's back. But this is also about those harmonies within yourself. And when people fuck us, fuck us over, like I said, sometimes we just get a little too rigid. <laughs> Some people are taking advantage of us. It's time to put our foot down and it's about creating that balance. So don't forget about the feminine aspect and creating, leaving her in good shape too, as you're standing up for yourself and uh, defending what needs to be defended here. 
but abundance comes your way. You're going to have success in this situation because, quite frankly, I feel like you are right. And whoever it was that did you wrong, um, it'll be corrected. So Aries, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoy your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it benefits you. If you like my style, don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Helps others to get my channel, or to help, helps my channel to grow. It helps others to get the reading. Let's get your final message to close this off for you. How have you loved yourself is how you, how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. So picture what it would look like to be loved and appreciated by the world in just the manner you most desire. Channel this image as you move throughout the day. Again, it goes perfectly. I love tarot. Aries, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.